From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather in today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Well, after a rainy weekend, yeah, we saw some rain again this morning. Good news is that rain slowly starting to move out. We will see some dry conditions, but still staying very chilly. Temperatures staying more than 10 degrees below average. Canton and Akron, you're staying about 15 degrees below average. Average high right around 59 degrees. Good news is we will see a little bit of a warm up on Tuesday and Wednesday, close to that 60 degree mark. Chances for rain, though, do move in Tuesday night into Wednesday. That means those trick or treaters on Wednesday could see a pretty good chance for some rain. After we get past Halloween, those temperatures drop down down to the 40s on Saturday. Terrence Lee here with your top story. Sources telling News 5 the Browns have fired head coach Hugh Jackson. Jackson had just three wins in 40 games as the Browns head coach. And with the team losing the last three games, the Browns deciding now was the time to fire Jackson. The man who killed a beloved Strongsville teacher is sentenced to life with the possibility of parole. Prosecutors say Jeffrey Scullin stabbed and shot Melinda Pleskovic last October, then went to dinner with her family. He even carried the casket at her funeral. Investigators later found a large knife covered with her blood and his DNA in his truck. Judge says Scullin will be eligible for parole after serving 33 years. Tonight, several local Jewish communities are having vigils to honor the victims of the synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh. The Jewish Federation of Cleveland is holding a vigil at 5 p.m. at the Mendel Jewish Community Center. And the Student Center at Kent State University is having a vigil as well at the K. That starts at 4.30. Case Western Reserve University also having a vigil at 7 p.m. Check back later tonight for another update and download the News 5 app for breaking news and alerts. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.